Hey guys, it's Sash, and today we're going to do another Brawl Stars video. I have with me uh, my dear friend, Coach Corey, who's also a Brawl Stars YouTuber. You guys should check him out. He makes great Brawl Stars video, lots of tutorial videos, perfect for, you know, new players as well. Um, and I also have my pro friend, Keenan. He's a great player. This is going to be great, guys. You guys are going to learn the best strategies for high. So we're going to start with Barley, Brock, and Daryl. So for the first game, we're going to do a couple of games with Daryl, and then I'm going to show you guys uh, more gameplay of the other brawlers, such as Throwers, Barley, and Dan, my very powerful heist brawlers, Brock, Spike, Crow, they're all very good brawlers for heist as well. So I'm going to show you gameplay for those as well. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to juke out the Dyna, but at the same time, also try to make my way towards their safe, forcing that uh, Daryl to, you know, focus on me. I got my super perfect... That is going to be great for me because um, I also realized that their Daryl also has super. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly ignore that Dinah. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on their safe. Unfortunately, didn't deal much damage. Um, and yeah, it looks like they've got a 36% damage on our safe. Okay, so that is great because we have the lead. And if I can grab my super here, I did grab my super. And what I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna go act rest. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go aggressively here because, um, oh, that that glitch right there. Because their Daryl's got super, and I need to quickly um, pressure him, pressure their safe basically. Their Daryl wasted their super right there, which is great because now he can't super in. Um, yeah, he just can't super in right now, and that gives us a chance to win this game right here right here let's see that Daryl what if he's gonna go after the barley what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna aggro I'm just gonna juke out the Dyna and there there we go distract and that's gonna be a great game right there great start for us awesome GG okay here we go another great uh, matchup we're up against Bobby who's currently number one in the world um, on the leaderboards so this is gonna be a great game there's a crow on the left Got to be careful not to feed the crow, not to give him hits here. There, Daryl's going to go to the left. And what that's going to do is that's basically going to allow me to flank in. And um, as you can see, I'm, I can deal some nice damage right there um, by basically making my way to their safe. And another important thing is I did not give that Daryl any hits. He did not get any hits off of me, so he's very far from getting his super, which is, uh, which is what you want to do. So right here, I'm keeping my distance from the... Daryl, their crow is at four hit points. He's gonna jump in. Okay, he got me, but he's only at four hit points. He's got no damage off our safe, which is great. Their Daryl staying back. He probably knows that I have super. Oh no, he is not staying back. Big mistake because that is gonna allow me to get, deal more damage to their safe. And right here, I'm just gonna. It doesn't matter if I feed the Daryl now because he's already got super. And right here, I, I realize he's got super. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay back a bit right there and defend against the Daryl. He did not get a very good roll as he rolls back. So it is important to get those rolls um, correctly. So right here, I got my super. Okay, nice. Great super by Corey right there. Took out the Daryl. And that is going to allow us to now push. Uh, I see my teammate Keenan. He's got super. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push in with him right here. With his super and deal even more damage. More massive damage. They're down at 8%. We're so close to almost finish, finishing them right there. They're, Barley's got super. And that's the main problem right now. Um, the main... It, uh, yeah, main threat basically. But right here, I made it to their safe. Can I get it? Oh my goodness! Right as I was about to get that win, we lost. 5%. Oh man, that was so close. We were so close right there. GG. Alright guys, we're going to do one more game with Daryl. And then I'm going to switch to Dynamite. So here we go. Now they do have a spike. Spike is a very good counter to tanks such as Daryl, Bull. Um, now the spike is on the other side, so I'm going to try to keep my distance from that spike because otherwise he's going to deal just so much damage and get his supers very quickly. Right here, that dynamite made a very big uh, mistake jumping towards me. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore that and just go straight for their save because they do, they do not have a very good defense. Best defense is the Dynamite and Dynamite is not a very safe um, defense. That forced their spike to get back and allowing my teammates to 2v1 double team their bowl. Allowing them to easily counter that. Now right here this uh, Dynamite, he's going to be a... He, he might be a problem because what he can do is he can just keep jumping like that with his star power. Nice by um, Coach Hoyer. I'm not too sure whether the mid is open here. Now, Eric, I mean, yeah, Keenan does have super. And right here, I'm going to roll right in, seeing that the mid is open. Nice. Awesome. Amazing super right there by Corey, dealing a massive amount of damage. That's like around 50% damage right there from a single barley super that close up. Um, so right here, I'm going to help. And the reason I'm going for this bowl is to also get my super. So right here, killing the bowl, but also getting my super. Main threat right now is that Dynamite. Because Dynamite does so much damage with his attack. And right here, I'm just going to wait for that bowl to get out of position and go straight for their save. The reason for that is because the bull, he went mid. He didn't stay next to the safe to defend it, allowing me for allowing me to easily take their um, safe. So I didn't rush my super. I didn't just rush in because I didn't want to risk them having a bull next to their safe. Okay, here we go, guys. This time, I'm going to switch to Dynamite. Dynamite is very OP in this map, especially if you have his star power. All right, now this is the team I think we won against uh, Yeah, in our first game. So hopefully we can do so again. This time me with the dynamite. Nice. Now there is some server lag here as you guys can see. It's it's like glitching up. <laughs> kind of looks glitchy. Nice. And I'm going to open up the mid. And basically that opening up the mid walls is very important. Because that's going to allow our Daryl to basically just go straight through the middle. if he when, Once he gets his super. Nice, he's already got his super, now he's positioning. As you can see, Keenan is positioning himself to super in, because now their Daryl is uh, right there. Their Daryl made a big mistake, not on defense. He needs to get on defense to stop Keenan from um, dealing a massive amount of damage. Right here, I'm going to jump in, throw my super. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so much damage from uh, Dynamite, as you can see right there. Uh, Corey dealing more damage now. Now there, Daryl does have super, and this could be pretty. Nope, Keenan has super. That's gonna be game. Once uh, Daryl has super like that, and the mid is open, that just does so much damage. Great game, awesome guys. Right, let's do another. This time, Corey's gonna switch from Barley to Brock. So yeah, as you guys saw, double throwers can be very OP. Right, I'm gonna jump over right here, and let's see. Now, if you don't have Dynamite Star Power, it is okay. You don't really need it um, that badly, although it helps a lot. Let's see right here. Now, that cult can be pretty annoying to get because he's got that speed. Got him, though. And I do have my super. Now, I'm not going to rush using that super because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that middle wall. And just by opening up that middle wall, it gives my teammates a pretty significant advantage. So, right there. Um... Mid, mid wall is open. Ooh, got that. Yeah! I knew he was going to jump in, so I threw two dynamites right in front of him, quickly taking him out. Nice. Now, Keenan has super. Um, he's going to super in. Nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over and just completely annihilate their save. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh man, that is OP. Dynamite is just ridiculously OP in highs, especially if you have his uh, star power, you can jump over. But even without it, he does so much damage on their side. Okay, guys, here we go. This time I'm gonna use Brock and Coach Corey. Dynamite, Keenan, Daryl. So let's see. Um, now, Brock is a very good brawler to use in high, same with Cult. Now, the advantage you have using. Brock is he can get his super quicker than uh, a cult and he's got the range advantage unfortunately right there that cult um, fed a lot from the Daryl getting that super but he he did fail to open up that wall at the mid um, here I'm gonna try to help get that dynamite but at the same time I'm trying to help on um, 
on the Daryl over there as well. So right here now, the cult does have super. If he opens that wall, he's pretty much dead. So he's gonna most likely regen back to full before doing that. Nice shot. And uh, I have my super, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that mid wall that's gonna allow Keenan to basically just roll right through the mid. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep assisting right there. That cult one shot, nice. Now there, Daryl has super. Um, not a problem. Now they don't have the mid open, I don't think. Maybe they do because of that cult super. But here, um, since they're, Daryl went for our safe and we're already like too committed to the top right here, we're gonna focus mainly on um, basically their safe. We're not, we're just gonna ignore that Daryl and just go straight for the safe. And that was pretty close, but we managed to grab <laughs> that safe and win. Nice. Okay, guys, we're up against a uh, Brock Bull and Daryl. Uh, Dynamite is, in my opinion, a much better option than having double tanks. And with Brock, we can get super pretty quickly. So now those two tanks are forced to go mid. So look right there, double shot by Brock. And already I'm just one hit from getting super. That's the benefit of using Brock. You're going to get his super very quickly. And by having his super um, quickly like that, you can open up that mid wall. Now that Brock, he is very low. Nice. So now the mid is open. So that is going to allow Keenan, who is a Daryl, to go right for their safe. Now they do realize that, you know, the mid is open and he's got super, so they're going to defend that pretty well. Regardless though, we did pretty good damage. 21%, it's good enough. Their Daryl does have super. And let's see what this bull does. He's going to go right in. I'm going to super this um, this Brock immediately out of the picture. Their Daryl's going to roll in. And that's going to allow Keenan to easily defend that. And possibly also get his super. Yep, nice. Now they do have a Brock right there. I noticed that. So I'm going to try to get, get him here. Oh, he dodged it all. Nice. <laughs> okay. Here we go, super, now Keenan's going to be distracting them all thanks to his super right there. This uh, Daryl, he's having trouble trying to kill me. Coach Corey, he's going to deal so much damage with that dynamite right there. Keenan, again, he's got his super. He's going to roll right in. He waited right there to wait for you know their tank to leave the safe. And by the time they leave it, they're pretty much done for due to the massive damage Daryl's going to deal. So yeah, Daryl is very OP, guys. Alright, guys, for our final game, I'm going to use the Legendary Spike. The best brawler in the game, in my opinion. And here we go. They got Ball, Crow, and Dynamite. None of their brawlers are well-equipped to deal with Spike. So let's see. This should be pretty easy for us. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Spike's got crazy range, and of course those Spikes, he, he almost like never misses because of that. Right there, I'm going to use my super, um, push back the bull right there. So much damage. And look, I already got my super back. That's how OP Spike is. And look, so much pressure. We've already pushed back their whole team. Dealt 76% damage. Insane. Um, here, now the crow. I'm going to mainly focus on trying to keep the dyna back he's gonna use super right there okay he's gonna open mid now that mid opening that mid is pointless and the reason for that is because he's got a bull he's got a teammate who's a bull and that bull can um use the super to break through the wall through the mid so he doesn't really need that mid to be open mainly because um he already can open up the mid with his super so the so that super he could have used it you know on like me or coach Corey or or even Keenan, but he wasted it. Right here, I'm gonna just try to get a hit quickly, yeah. And I'm just gonna heal myself right here with my star power. If you have spike star power, it's so OP. It just lets you heal yourself back. <laughs> and look right here, I already got my super, but that's gonna be game, GG. So OP, guys. Thanks for watching, hope you guys learned a lot about Heist. Um, you got so many OP brawlers. 
Remember, have a tank such as Daryl or Bull, as um, for for especially for this map or like most heist maps. Try to have a thrower such as a Dynamite or Barley, both are very great options. And then uh, a support brawler such as Brock, Crow, Spike, all of those are great, great options. Call it as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys again, uh, possibly tomorrow, for another Brawl Stars video. Later, guys.